Who qualifies to be a partaker in this season? Or what are the qualities that one should possess to become a partaker or a beneficiary of the revival? Number one, and this must be the top on the list every time, holiness. Number one is holiness. It is not automatic that because you planted it has to give you the harvest you expect. Number one is holiness. You may get in the revival, but if you miss this particular quality, you may never see what we are talking about. Please consider this very carefully in your life, wherever you are listening to us from, wherever you are watching us from. Consider holiness. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It is very difficult, and I speak this boldly. It is very difficult for any witch or wizard to successfully bring down a holy man of God. And it is easier for even a small demon to overtake somebody who does not embrace holiness. You become a partaker when you embrace holiness. Number two, faithfulness. God deals more and trusts people that are faithful. Faithfulness in this season. Holiness can be personal, but faithfulness, it is how you relate with other people. Don't lie. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Number three, humility. Remain humble. Humility. Remain humble. When you're careful, see you. Remain humble. What is the meaning of remaining humble? Don't despise anybody. See everyone as important as you are. See their worthness. Do not categorize people. People are in their categories, we agree. But as for you as a believer, look at them as everyone that represents the image of God. There are people you may despise, but eventually you realize they carry, they, they, they are the people that carry your destiny. Humility. Humility, we don't mean pretending. We mean you become truly humble. Humility can even be reflected by your mouth. You know there are people when they speak, you simply know they are not humble. They are extremely proud. Now, do you know that God, by nature, resists the proud? It's by nature. He resists the proud. Some people believe that they are humble because they don't buy expensive clothes. Humility. Humility is where you consider everyone to be the same. And to be as important as you are. You should never see yourself as being more important than everybody. Let me tell you. When you look at the natural destiny of all of us, we end the same way. As anointed as I am. Natural destiny. <laughs> what is our natural destiny? Is it not the same? Whether you are president or you are a beggar. That's why, do you know why God raises beggars to make them sit with princes? It's, he wants to teach beggars that you are the same as princess and he wants to teach the princess that you are the same as beggars. You are all the same. Another thing that will make you become a beneficiary of the revival, that's number four, is availability. Availability. These last two, I will sum them into one. Availability. And number five, reliability. You must be available for Jesus. And you must be reliable. This too, we can talk about being trustworthy. That God can trust you fully. 
that God can take a break because you are involved. God doesn't have to say things will go wrong because nobody can take care. When you are there, God can rest. Because he knows you are capable of doing what he could have done by himself. Can God have confidence in you? In, in other words, can God trust you? Hallelujah. 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 Can God speak to the devil and say, my servant, John? Can God say, in the land of Ul, lives a man that shines evil. A man who is after my heart. Can God say something about you? What can God say in this revival? What can Jesus say about you? You may have trust in God, but does God trust you? Mungu anaweza kakaa mahali aseme nothing can go wrong because pastor is there. Or you make God to be uncertain about what is about to happen. He says, I am not sure what I can do exactly what I want. So we are talking about being available for Jesus. But don't just be available. Be reliable. Being available is one thing. But being reliable is more crucial. And obviously you cannot be reliable and miss from the place of action. Be reliable and be available. Please tell your neighbor, be available. Mwambi yeah. tena be available yeah. and be reliable. Mwambi yeah. neighbor, that means you need to be trustworthy. That God can depend on you. God is not only looking for men that believe in him. He's looking for men that he can rely on.